Hello, my name is Greg Hancock. I'm the lead uh, uh, press operator for the Berrendelli Trade. I've been here now uh, going into my th uh, 38th year. I've always been in the press, yes. I was the first apprentice to start on the exceptional with the offset machine. Okay. Just, up, just after it was installed. Uh, mainly maintenance on the printing press here and the making of the plates for the issue for the next day. Uh, average is that we have a 20 during the week, uh, mainly a 24 on a Friday with the races in it and a 24 on a Saturday morning with uh, TV pages and some real estate. Uh, any other, we can go to a 32 pages and maximum in one run yep. Yep. and with um, eight colours, eight pages of colour uh, in each run. That's, that's all we can do. So any, uh, any more than eight pages we have to do a, a, double, a double run with the collate manually. Yeah. The deliveries put in. That's what they use here on Friday night or any special um, nights like St. Pat's, they'll have a special issue um, sometimes or any other sort of in, anything going on in town. Uh, we'll make an extra one uh, page for that. Yeah, so. uh, they're 500 kilos. Uh, one roll would last us about uh, one pre uh, four prints. But we use more than one roll uh, a night. Uh, there's about 14, just over 14 kilometres in here, so it'd roll out to Stevens Creek Reservoir, no worries. So one of these rolls would roll all the way out to Stevens Creek? Yeah, to Stevens Creek, all mate, yeah. Pretty close to it. From, our, from the post office. And how do you get them on the press? Uh, we lift them onto a, tro uh, a ramp, put them onto a trolley. Um, and then put a spindle in it, which holds up there, and then we lever it up onto the press. Okay, this is our uh, plate process. Uh, it's putting the image onto the plate. Uh, plate. Uh, it's an aluminium plate. Just, uh, Push it in. All it is doing is it's just like an inkjet printer. It's squirting uh, an, ink, uh, an ink, special ink onto the paper, which is actually stuck. It will be baked on afterwards in a, an oven underneath the press. Putting that baking up.
2006, yeah, about November it was, when we had the uh, t our four high colour press put in. Um, so it's been it's 11 years now yeah, that we've been going uh, to process colour. Uh, yes, <laughs> we had to raise the roof, as they say when the story went in. Uh, yeah, they'd take, cut the roof off and raise it up. Yeah. Uh, got to sit in, yeah, so, uh, and then we had a crane lifted in. Um, they'd take the roof off and then put the crane, crane and uh, lower it in. Well, I think people like to hold it in their hands, is what it is. Yeah. And the electronic, yes, yeah, people love the electronics, but I think. Having a paper just picked there, oh, and pick it up and straight away. Yeah, um, I think there's still a, a, a need for them, yes. Oh, yes, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's um, yeah, just a local paper, I think it's, like, it's good to see it's still going. Um, I think it's just the, it's been an independent paper, I think, because of. Uh, the, the bigger businesses, uh, they're looking after the pennies and we just want to look after the people.